Hi there. This is a tutorial on how to use compact screens for RF tools. To start off, you're going to need a screen, a screen controller, and a source of RF. To make the screen, you need iron on the bottom, glass surrounding a machine base. Machine base is made with golden nuggets and stone, like so. You also need the screen controller, which is redstone in the corners, glass, ender pearl, and machine frame used with lapis lazuli or blue dye powder, iron ingots in the corners, and golden nuggets on the sides. You're also going to need the source of RF. For the sake of this video, I'm going to be using an infinite power source. I'm going to place my power source down, and I'm going to place the screen controller next to it. Now, I'm going to place the screen on its designated place. What you need is a wrench, a smart wrench, in fact. This will be your tool with using screens. You can make the screen transparent and larger. See? Now, we're going to be going over some of the modules. See, I just put the text module in. Use the text module, you click open the GUI or the text button, and you enter your text. I'm gonna add surprise Jedi. Make it large font and make it center. I'm also gonna make it blue. I can't see it. What? Why? Maybe it's because you have to hook up the screen controller to the screen. To do this, click scan. Ta-da! It also connected some other screens around the world, including up there, which will you, you will see in later in the video, and right there, which you will also see later in the video. Now, getting back to the current situation. Surprise Jedi. My text is there. Now, to make your text in the center of the screen, or anywhere else, you're gonna need some more text modules. So, I installed another module, but I'm gonna need to add some more. So we have this here, and let's just say that these are all, that these designate a line on the screen. So then I'm assuming if we use the middle one, we can get this in the middle of the screen. Ta-da, that's how it works. That's how you use text modules. Now, moving on to the button module. This one is slightly complicated, but put it in. Now, you have the button, but it says module is not linked to redstone channel. What you then have to do is grab a redstone receiver or transmitter, place it down wherever you want. You can also use the smart wrench to move this where you want. Now, I'm gonna move it over here. I'm gonna have it pointing, pointing, I'm gonna move it right here, pointing that way. So, I hook up some redstone to it. I press the button, but it still says not linked to a redstone channel. To fix this, you have to grab the button module again. Looking at the redstone receiver, hold down shift and right click. So it says create a channel six for the button module. It can range anywhere from channel one to 50, depending on how many modules, button modules you have. And head over to your screen and then put it in. Now, redstone. Now, oh, I wonder what the suspenser is here for. What if, this is right there. Whoa, firework, nice. So this can be used for many things. Fireworks. It can also work for pistons and various things. Now, moving on. You can also add labels to the button. So, press this. Pre me. Oh, doesn't fit. Push. Okay, and now let's make the center so it looks better. And 
change the label color, have that red and this green. You can customize it to your liking. Still works. Anything can work with it that uses redstone. Moving on to the clock module. You instantly put it in an and there's instantly text on the screen. And you're like, well, what does this really mean? I know it's a clock and it, I would assume that's the time, but is this like a stopwatch? Is it 20 minutes, 21 minutes? I, I don't get it. Well, this actually displays Minecraft's in-game time. For real, yeah, this is awesome. Using a clock, you don't really get a specific time amount. Well, now you do. As you can see, in Minecraft, right now, it is 9.25. I can prove this by time set day. Changes it to 7 a.m. See? That just shows that every minute in Minecraft is a second in your life. Cool, right? Well... That's pretty much it for the clock, except you can pretty much add a label, small font, large font, and the same thing using the text module. If you input these, it adds a space, see? So I think that's gonna be my clock. That's it for the button, text, and clock modules. Moving on to the elevator module. If you look at this elevator button module, that screen controller over there is currently powering this screen. So there's no need to worry about placing another screen controller down. So we grab the elevator button module and well, what do we really do? See, this is an elevator block. It's a very special block. I'll show you in a little bit. But if we connect it like we did with the button to the redstone receiver, it says elevator module is now set to block elevator. So we're like, what does that mean? Well, if we right click on this, this basically sets the name of the floor. So the name of this floor is parking. We input this in, whoa, that's cool. Well, oh look, you can also make it horizontal use lights that's cool uh, vertical large starting at one interesting oh and you can change the color of the current floor that's cool I'm gonna have it red no let's change it um I think let's have it gray gray looks cool yeah so this works very similar to the button module let's say you press first floor whoa you head on up see unfortunate thing about screens settings don't travel first floor this is only because i use a separate button module that is also plugged in here well, sky, bye bye. Okay, now we have another screen here. And I'm assuming it's also connected to that screen controller. So we have the screen. And I also noticed that behind it, there was a coal generator and two drums and water. Hmm, I wonder what this could mean. Let's take a look at what modules there. So let's do the same thing we did with the button and elevator module. Let's connect the energy module to this, the coal generator. So now if we put this in, it says zero. That's interesting. Um, let's look at the settings for this. Uh, show amount of RF, that's cool. RF per tick, percent, nice. I'm gonna make the center, make it format. I'm gonna comma format it. Uh, let's see, energy, 
that's cool. Um, let's change the color for the label. Color for the RF. Let's add that red. And blue. That's cool. So we got that. But there's no energy generating here, so no wonder there's no numbers here. So let's grab some coal and start up this generator. Whoa, that's awesome. It displays the energy right here. That's quite nifty. Wow, that's awesome. Oh, and look, there's a little bar up there that's going up. That's cool. You can use this for various things. Like if you're in your base, then let's just say this is connected to your quarry miles and miles away. And you'd be like, oh, my quarry's low on RF. Um, that's probably because the coal generators are out of RF or coal. So you could probably add, maybe you could add like a button that's right here, that's somewhere over at your quarry that puts coal into your generator. You can do it all from sitting in your house. Pretty nifty, right? Also, we have the fluid module. Let's connect it to this drum right here. Now, let's place it in here. Oh look, this is zero. Just like energy started out. Let's make this water. Let's color it lime green. Make that aqua and blue. We can do it by MB per tick, percent, even none. MB we can, let's make this commas like the other one and make the center. Um, let's also toggle the visibility because we want to be able to see the bar like that. Now, hmm, what do we do now? Well, let's try adding fluid into the drum. Now, this drum has 5,000 out of 16,000 water in it. See over here. Whoa, that has 5,000. Nifty, right? And this will most likely work from anywhere like miles away. So let's let's try that. Let's try. That. So the ice cream right here, and I'm going to the elevator first. Okay, first floor. Installed the module. Hmm. Wait, hold on. Hmm, something's not quite right. Maybe it's because we haven't hooked up the screen yet. Let's go over to the screen controller and we rescan. Five connected screens. Whoa! You can see the water from all the way over here. Nifty. That's really cool. Let's go back all the way up to the first floor again. Just like with the energy, you can customize pretty much everything. Yeah, now let's go upstairs. This guy. Whoa, pretty darn high up. That elevator got us quickly up too. It's blank screen. Thank you for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe.